Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be diving into the release that many of us had been eagerly anticipating, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. What should have been a celebration of innovation and immersion has unfortunately turned into a frustrating experience for many players. From the extended waiting times to server crashes, the launch has been anything but smooth. And while the promise of cloud-based gaming seemed like a step forward, it's clear that reality has fallen quite short leaving many grounded, unable to even take off. But now that we've finally managed to get in, let's take a look at how the game actually plays. From the performance visuals and everything in between, here is what it looks like as of today, and I'm playing on the Xbox Series X. So I'm not entirely sure how much of this game is streamed, because there was initially a 12 gigabyte download from the store, which then turned into a 30 gig download uh, and then add another 12 gigabyte add-on support download. So the game is around 50 gigabytes. So I've loaded up the C17 Globemaster for a cold and dark start. And as you can see now, I'm just running this footage as is. There's no cutting or anything like that. So you can actually see how the game is run. You can see it's freezing, it's stopping, it's buffering, it's lagging. It just doesn't know what it wants to do. I come to the menu system here because I wanted to go to my settings to turn all the offline modes off because that's one thing I've been playing with, turn them on, turn them off to see does any of that help. I've had to plug in my mouse and keyboard here just to be able to control the menu side because for some reason the controller just has a freak out. It has a freak out when you're even flying the plane sometimes, it just does not work. So if you can have a look, I've got photogrammetry turned on, live weather and multiplayer, so we'll turn all these off. The multiplayer servers, they are automatic for me. Um, I'll just turn that off as well. And then I've just left all the communication the same because I don't think that really makes a difference. So as we load back in, you can see it just keeps freezing. It's stuttering. That doesn't make a difference. Graphics are still as is. This is where I don't know what is being streamed and what is actually on the hard drive itself. For, for even just a foundation, I thought that every aircraft would have been on the hard drive so they're fully loaded but it seems as if the textures from the planes are actually streamed this is going to be an issue with cloud-based gaming especially when it now you know the aircraft are essentially the main spotlight of the game yes we know that ground textures may not be rendered in trees may not be rendered in buildings may not be rendered in which is fine because technically we're always going to be in the in the sky but when the main focus of the game shows up like this oh it's a terrible experience and what i've noticed with the c17 actually here in the pre-flight checks walking around is you don't have any sort of uh checks to do there's no icons that you can hover over and check you know the tires the brakes any of that um i have tried it on other aircraft in the game that seem to be working uh but yeah, the C-17 and the A-400, I I've had the worst experience with. As you can see inside the cockpit here, I mean, it's, it just, it's the same as the outside. You know, if the outside is not going to be rendered in, the inside isn't going to be. You can see how choppy it is again. Everything's just stuttering and slow. Co-pilot, and then my co-pilot sitting behind me. Now, he's somewhat the best renderer of, of this whole thing. So we'll open up the cockpit door here. Uh, I mean... I've already clicked A about 30 times here and just it nothing is working and eventually it opens up and we can go downstairs and have a look at the cargo space. This is where things start getting a little worse because as I try and open and close this door here's where I have essentially just a full blown crash. I'm able to get to the pause menu to try and fix it but once I come back in here I'm unable to go back to the cockpit I'm, I'm unable to reset the cockpit view and I'm also unable to get exterior view so essentially as you can see it just brings me back here and that's it we're done for this flight right so the only way I can fly this plane is by just loading it in the sky already I probably should have been recording my input on this because I'm trying to bank this plane left or right and it's just not reading any of my control inputs. Not to mention the constant stuttering and lagging and freezing. 
when it eventually does read my control input it i need to overcorrect it immediately and then obviously my overcorrection lags and i'm just fighting the overcorrection rather than actually just controlling the plane nice and smoothly as you can see on the a400 here i'm just going down because i've overcorrected the lag hits and then once it frees itself it's just doing its own thing and we're straight into the water now another thing is I do have good internet connection as you can see I'm at 411 megabits per second with an upload of 200 so they can't blame our internet connection for any of this this is quite clearly on their end anyway I'm gonna end the video here um, try not to negatively talk about this game too much we do get glimpse of, glimpses of how good this game is going to be we knew there was going to be launch day issues, it was the same with 2020, however to this extent, I'm not so sure. This has definitely been one of the worst launch day releases I've ever experienced. However, they will fix it, we know they will, but when? That's another question to ask. The fact that this game costs a lot of money for some people, it's quite ridiculous that this is the state of the game. You wouldn't mind so much if there was maybe a 100 gigabyte download for this game and we could at least enjoy somewhat of a base foundation of this game. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.